Hey everybody, how's it going? So welcome back to World of Muse here in Planet Coaster. So over the last 17 weeks, we've been adding coaster after coaster. So it's about time for a change. Let's switch it up completely to something unusable in game. Something that is the mother of all interiors. It's time for a hotel. Let's go. Yeah, so I thought you might be getting a little bit bored of me adding coaster after coaster week after week. And trust me, even though I like how the coasters turn out, that fatigue does work both ways. So let's mix it up for this week. Let's do something completely different. Let's milk some more money from our guests in a completely different way. And what better way in doing that than having a hotel for them to stay at? Two days, baby! Two days in the park! So this is the uh, the kind of format that I'm coming up with. I'm going to talk through the shaping and everything in a moment because this does need a bit of discussion because this is just a square box. And I know I'm trying to get away from boxy builds but this needs to be a boxy build <laughs> but this is what i'm going for in here i'm going for lots of wood cladding and lots of expo exposed stone uh, we're going for like a, a bit of a mountainside lodge style hotel for this one so this is what you're seeing in here we're essentially going to have what well, is five floors i'll talk you through that in a moment because this is definitely very clearly four right it's going to have five floors maybe a sixth floor up on here and then this is what i'm going for in here this is going to be like a um a split atrium level that you come in here so this is going to be the entrance area you're going to have the reception area in this bit here and then there's going to be a bit of a um a mezzanine area for you to sort of like congregate and check in and whatever this is going to be a bar so uh, i need to kit this out and, and have it as a as a bar area and then this is all going to be raised up along here right so this uh, will be street level and then at the back here this is going to be park level but you've got to come down the stairs to do that so that's why this is two floors so it's essentially it's a mezzanine uh, a mezzanine level and then inside here we're going to have a restaurant and the kitchen will be tucked at the back here so the terrain is going to come down this way I'm going to then have access to deliveries on the lower floor into the kitchen on the lower floor there'll be a fire exit that comes out this way um, and then uh, yeah, this is going to be at floor, uh, uh, ground level. And then upside here, there's going to be a car park. So I've also in this area built in um, some housekeeping. So this is going to be in this area. And then they're going to have service lifts and a fire exit this side. Uh, that's going to then lead to the rooms that are on the right hand side here. Are you still with me? good <laughs> and then on the other side this is going to be very very different so on the bottom level we have some changing rooms if i zoom in uh, we're gonna have some changing rooms for a swimming pool in here uh, there would be some swimming pool facilities uh, in terms of uh, maintenance and whatever I'm not doing that in here but they would ultimately be in this space here uh, but because we don't have the kit in game I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother doing it uh, but then we're gonna have an underground swimming pool <gasps> shocker I've got some so many ideas for this one I've seen so many videos recently of this actually working well in practice so we're gonna have an underground swimming pool in here and I can't wait to kick this out this one's this one's proper exciting uh, and then on the top level we're gonna have a shop and an arcade um, so this is going to be a balcony here guys I'm really sorry that this probably isn't making much sense but there's going <laughs> trust me in my head in my vision this is it so this is going to be a top um bit of a balcony here the arcade will be in this bit here uh, the shop will be in this bit here the pool is going to be underneath and then this is a conference center so we've got two conference rooms the first conference room will be on top of the pool the second conference uh, conference center will be uh, lakeside this is going to be the reception area this is going to be a bit of a seating area then there's going to be a patio and then i'm going to join up the pathing and stuff from all here so are you still with me is this all making sense i'll talk through the rooms when we come to it because I, I don't want to overload you because i think now i've talked to you all through that i probably need to show you what this actually it looks like in real life right so let's cut straight to that yeah let's hope this next bit's gonna make all of that make sense because i know what's coming and i think this is coming together really nicely but all you're seeing at the moment are just two floors and this kind of box effect right so <laughs> let's do a bit of a tour and show you around so i can show you my thinking and this is what i'm going for in terms of the look and feel i'm going for the wood and stone cladding with the glass frontage with the cladding in the middle and then in the back it's literally floor to ceiling glass because when you go through in the atrium that's what you're going to see you're going to see the hyper turnaround and the hyper first drop and stuff so absolutely love it like this is just the perfect positioning of this of this hotel so this is what i was talking about before with the uh, with the different floors it's going to be an open atrium so there's going to be a balcony that comes down here and a balcony that comes down here this middle bit is going to be completely empty and then that's going to go up all of the other floors so i've just put in all of the elevators all the lifts in the one side and i started to put the stairs in the other but i need to put banisters and stuff on it right so 
handrails and whatever. So I'm, I haven't done them all yet because I need to go away and do that. But this is what these mezzanine floors are going to look like. There'll be um, chairs and stuff in here. It'll be quite a nice little place to sit and whatever. But ultimately, you're then going to have the entrance to the hotel rooms this way and this way. So reception wise, this is what I'm going for. Reception is sitting here. Started to kit this out. This is the first pass. It needs everything you're going to see needs touching up. In some capacity, it's just all first pass stuff at the moment, just so you get an idea of how it's going to look and feel and whatever. But this is the reception. It doesn't need to be massive. It's not a massive hotel. Uh, it's not like a, a big facility. So this reception is probably about enough uh, here. And then we've got a gift shop in this area. So you walk along the balcony here. And then you come into the gift shop in this area. Ta-da! So of course there's going to be like ceilings and stuff in here, but this is what you're this is what you're getting so far. Again, needs a little bit of a touch-up going on in here, more detail and whatever, but this is just a get a feel for it. And then you'll come in this way. And you have, uh, there we go. <laughs> right, I've got some responsiveness back on the camera. Uh, you come in this way and then you've just got a bit of a games unit, right? So there's nothing really much to talk about in here other than the fact that it's a room full of games. And that's what you would find in a hotel of this caliber. And then in this side, we have the conference center. So here are the two conference rooms. Haven't bothered to kit these out just yet. I'm going to, but I haven't done them uh, just yet. That'll come in the final pass because I need, to, I need the ceilings in be able to do the stuff like the lights and whatever so uh, i'm going to do that later and then this is the reception area uh, for it so this would be where you'd like chill out during breakouts and stuff or you greet for reception and, and, and all of that sort of stuff uh, this area then will be used for seating and whatnot but before we go underneath i'm going to show you over here uh, this is the next mezzanine area so the top side we've got here is the bar so lots of seating and lots of stuff going on up here um, again it needs touching up and it needs some decorating and kitting out and whatever but this is what i'm going for uh, and then of course the bar is sitting at the back in fact it's very similar to splash landings at alton towers there's a couple of cues that i'm taking from here particularly with this how to deal with this split level idea and, and building it into the side of a, a side of a hill and stuff but ultimately what i wanted is for you to be able to sit at the uh at the actual bar itself let me just come down a little bit and just be able to look through the window and through to the lake right so that's uh that's good i'm happy with that and then underneath here we've got a restaurant so there's our restaurant here so we've just got some seating areas going on and uh, lots of tables and chairs and stuff again this wouldn't necessarily need to be a massive restaurant but remembering that at breakfast you're probably going to see everybody at the same time so you do need enough seating to seat everybody and then when we come through into here Ta-da! We have a kitchen. Again, it needs touching up and it needs fleshing out and stuff, but it's a kitchen. So this is where uh, the magic is going to happen for this entire hotel. And then the other side here, I've not done... Uh, well, wait, hang on, where am I going? I don't even know where I am in my own hotel. In here, I haven't done the um, the delivery room yet, but this is where all of the deliveries and stuff would come into the hotel. And then in top, on top here, this is going to be where housekeeping is. And then, of course, you've got the cellar and the delivery area for the bar at the top here. Uh, so we're going to have access and stuff that comes down this way and then uh, fire exits and whatever coming off the back here. And I've also then just put in some of the fire exits along the side. So the top exit comes across to the top area here and then there's a fire exit here and there will be a fire exit for the restaurant here and then they go up the stairs this way and then that would come up into the top uh, the top area of the car park. And again, this is very much inspired by Splash Landings and how they deal with their split level stuff. So, uh, And then of course, all I need to do is just put the usual stuff along here uh, in terms of uh, foliage and nature and all of that sort of stuff and decoration and kitting it out. So... I've started this pro process here. Uh, you'll notice that this is different and I'm going to show you why in a moment because this is good. I love it. I love it. I love it because we talked about the underground swimming pool and stuff. But I've started to put some of the uh, nature and whatever in on here so I know how it sits. So I know that I'm heading in the right direction uh, because if we come down here, uh, 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 sorry, again, I've started to put all of the cladding and stuff along here just to give it a bit of uh, decoration. But we come through here and we come into changing rooms. Of course, it's going to be male and female changing rooms because that's what we would uh, that's what we would have. And it comes into a corridor. Change the camera so we can turn around this way because we walk into an underground swimming pool look at it yes of course it's not finished it needs some uh, decorating and whatever but i'm really quite pleased with this at the moment it needs lights and stuff it needs like low level lighting and uh, a few 
chairs and stuff you know the stuff you'd find around a swimming pool but i am really really pleased with how this is. this is at the back here is a video uh so that's comes from vidizzy you've seen me use this one before right so uh there we go video <laughs> and of course there is water i don't know you can see the water can you see the water let me just zoom down i don't know if you can is it reflecting no it's not there is water there but i don't think it's showing up for some reason so it's whatever whatever right so my next uh my next port of call is the hotel rooms so I, as you can see i've started the process of kitting these out let's talk about those in a mo oh actually before we go on to the next bit this is what it looks like i've changed the time of day and i managed to get it to reflect so there you go swimming pool Oh, 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 is it Planet Coaster or is it The Sims? And guys, it is definitely Planet Coaster and this is definitely a hotel room. This is far more kitted out than the other parts of the hotel that I've shown you. And that's because I'm just about to copy these across and make this into a proper floor. Uh, I'm not going to bother doing randomization and stuff because <laughs> it's not usable in the game. Chill out. <laughs> We're just doing it to represent hotel rooms. But what I am doing is making it as real as I possibly can. So a hotel room is 8 meters by 8 meters and the bathroom is ever so slightly wider than you may find it and that's because I'm using uh, up-to-date UK legislation that suggests that every room that's built in a hotel has to be disabled accessible so wheelchair accessible so for that reason you have slightly wider living quarters and slightly wider bathrooms it always used to be the case that your disabled access and your disabled rooms were always on the ground floor because of fire exit strategies and stuff uh, but legislation and accessibility laws have since changed so now you just have to have good fire exit strategies for our disabled friends so that's what I'm going for here. The rooms are slightly bigger and oh, it's kitted out so amazingly. I mean, look, it's a hotel room. Like, it's a hotel room. There's just no denying that it's, a hotel. it's not a hotel room. I mean, it is just so, yes. Look at it. Like, guys, I can't stress how chuffed I am with this. This is so much better than Raygate Lakes hotel rooms. Like, it's incredible. So what I'm going for in here is this idea of uh, the lodge that we've been talking about. So it's lots of wood, lots of orange, lots of blue uh, going on. And uh, yeah, it's just got, it's got its bed. It's got a couple of chairs to sit around. Uh, it's got the entertainment centers. It's got all of the stuff. But ultimately, you don't want really people to really congregate in their rooms. You want them to be out in the social spaces. So you don't provide too much social stuff in here. You just provide all of the basics and then you go down and have something to eat or whatever. Now, we do need to uh, just deal with the elephant in the room. I know that in a theme park hotel, you would probably have extra beds for kids and stuff, right? So there'd probably be an extra bed in here or maybe in here or maybe extra area. We don't have the stuff in game, so I'm just not going to represent it. It's just it is what it is. So just know that I, <laughs> they would have it, but I've chosen not to uh, not to do it. Bathroom is the same. The bathroom is the same. I don't know what it's the same as, but it's the same anyway. <laughs> bathroom is represented. Uh, I didn't put baths and stuff in here. I have just made it a shower. It's a wet room, and again, this is just for the disability access area. Because if you had steps and stuff here, then you're creating a barrier for uh, our wheelchair using friends to uh, be using the bathroom and stuff. So it'd be a wet room. This floor would be slightly lowered so that the water doesn't go into this area can't represent, in, represent that in game so it's just there but ultimately you've got all the facilities that you would expect you've got the toilet you've got the sink you've got uh the side unit and stuff like that and then the shower head the shower head is just the snowman pipe i love it looks like a shower uh, <laughs> this is oh this is what it looks like from the inside so it just looks like a bathroom i mean it's as good as it's as good as we're going to get. In an ideal world, I would have loved to have had this as a cabinet uh, and as a, as a worktop. But because of the way that this is and it's actually uh, bowed down and we don't have enough pieces in game to actually make it work, then I've just decided that I'm just going to keep this open. It is what it is. It's good enough. Good is good enough. And then on the outside, this is how I'm dealing with. So if you imagine that this is the lower floor and this is how the lower floor is going to look, then this is the balcony, uh, the balcony area. So just got lots of stuff, you know, uh, a couple of chairs and a sun lounger and, and bits just to socialize on the outside. Bit of cladding because we've dragged that forward through from the main atrium area. And then I'm just using all of the wood effect and stuff in here. So now that I have done the hotel room, 
and this is the rough layout of the hotel. I just quickly need to do this so I can go ahead and make the first floor of the hotel. And this is the vibe that I'm going for. This is the look and feel, like with the balcony that we've got going on and then the wood cladding and the stone cladding and stuff. Yes, this is exactly as I wanted it to. But the reason that I'm showing you this bit is so I can show you the next part because uh, all I've done is I've taken the two rooms here and then I have copied them many times into one row and then I've copied the entire row and flipped it so that they are completely symmetrical. A couple of reasons why. It's a little bit of time efficiency uh, so that I don't have to do every single room one by one. And you saw me kind of do this in the dome episode of Shorehaven Pier where I was showing how you can like design efficiently. But what I did also want to do is just show you how this looks from the inside now because obviously we saw it before with no ceiling right so I've got to be really careful with the camera because this is not going to like this so here we go here's the, <laughs> the the corridor it's a little bit shining let's be honest you expect to see the two girls and stuff but hey it's a hotel corridor they're not supposed to be like grand open spaces or anything but ultimately what you've got is the fire exit down the the back side here and then all of the rooms that are along here don't know if I'm going to bother doing numbers yet. I haven't quite decided, but if we come into the hotel rooms, this is what we're looking for. So this is the bathroom. Uh, so there we go. And it's looking good. And what I've done is I've actually used the Theme Makers Toolkit floor as ceiling because I wanted them to be a little bit ceiling tiley. So that's what I'm going for in here. And then if we walk out of the door, we come into the hotel room. And again, it's just all kitted off awesomely in here and guys look how good this is from inside oh no hang on i didn't change the camera there we go and look how good this is from inside here i love it like it's so good oh yes and then when we come out to the balcony well that's what the view you're going to get at the moment but of course this is going to change oh no wait the view from this side won't change will it it'll just be in a different location because it's all on a grid so that's the view you're going to get from your balcony how awesome is that so does that mean then if we go this way. So I'm going off on a tangent. But if we go this way and we go onto the balcony of this one, that's... Oh, that's a great view. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. Should have just left it. Chacho, you ruined it. Uh, but that's the view you're going to get from your balcony anyway. Like, let's, don't look here. This is the one of the rooms I've copied. <laughs> anyway, now I've, uh, now I've done this bit. I need to also now do this because I've now got three floors of a hotel that I know are absolutely identical because they've all been built in a modular basis and everything has been copied across. So, for example, the balconies, these pillars, these doors around the outside, the corridors, the fire exits, everything is exactly where I wanted it to be. Now, what I have done in this process, by the way, is I've slightly changed the design of the hotel. So, all I need to do is copy this across and place it over on the other side. But you are about to see... That the struggle is real, so I'm going to give you the first time lapse ever. Let's go. And that is what copying 14,000 pieces in World of Muse looks like. Guys, that takes about a minute and a half to do. That's unreal. <laughs> but what it means is I can now come over to this side of the hotel. This is so unnecessary, guys. Like, I'm not even going to lie. This is just overkill. But it's worth it, I promise. Uh, so it now means that I can come down here and I can plop this into place. So let me just line this up. Uh, there we go. So I know that the balconies need to be there, right? So there we go. So place this down. Ta-da! And this is what we now have from the front. Let me just come out of the menu. There we go. Uh, there we go. So this is the front of the, or the back of the hotel. This is this is pretty much as I wanted it to be. I wanted this one to be flush with the uh, the side of the hotel so it sticks out. Um, I've, like I say, I've just got some wall and, and things to, wall, walls? Get my teeth in. I've just got some walls and stuff to tidy up along here, and that's fine. That's what I was expecting. And then the other side here, uh, this is the area that I've actually decided to fundamentally change the design of the building because whereas the back I wanted it to stick out, this one, I wanted it to be flush. So let me just uh, get rid of the UI. There you go. I wanted this to be flush, so that's why this car park and whatever is, is slightly misaligned because I'm going to come in and change the car park, put some uh, flowers and foliage and stuff in here and make all of this, uh, all of this make sense. Um... So yeah, that's kind of what I'm going for here. Now, inside, 
this area this is every single floor that we've got so you i'm hoping that this is now going to make the uh, <laughs> i just spotted this log i think that log might need to move don't you um so <laughs> orcs i told you it was all prepared <laughs> I lied. Uh, okay, so this is the mezzanine area that I'm going for here. So you'll see that the flooring and stuff will come along this way and there'll be balconies and, and whatever. So I can get all of this all of this done. But hopefully this is now starting to give you an idea of what I mean by these uh, by this mezzanine. So I reckon I'm just going to shut up. I'm going to go and fix this and I'll see you in a minute. All right then, you guys. We're going to need to do one more real quick update because otherwise there's going to be too much to change between the previous update and the final review, all right? Because look, this is coming together so nicely. And I just wanted to show you how the ground and stuff are going to be pulled together so you can see the transformation but more importantly I wanted to show you the roof because I was a little bit uh at the last update because it did feel a little bit boxy and a bit squarey and to be honest with you it felt like it was a little bit of a multi-story car park but hey look at it yes it's got a it's just got this personality that's just arrived of course it, it needs like final touches it needs touching up and stuff like there's no glass in the windows and stuff like that but ah, uh, yes 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 and this is how it's looking from the other side as well by the way so this is how it's looking from the park and it just sits so 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 nicely and oh you get to see the hyper through the window Yes, <laughs> and I mean, oh, I love it. So let's have a look at the, uh, the have a look at the roof. So what I've done here is I've just put lots of trim on here. I didn't want it to have a consistent roof along here, right? So I could have just made it all pitched roof and whatever. I wanted it to have a few nuances and a few things that were slightly different. So this is why we've got this slightly different shaping going on. So then what I've done is just put some trim all along here, and then I finished it everything out here. So what I realised was. This isn't quite symmetrical, and I can't work out why, but I'm all right with that because buildings tend to not be symmetrical, right? So what I've ended up doing is making this uh, fire exit thinner. They, they were originally sticking all the way out here, and that means then we've got a slightly more pitched roof uh, overhang going on here. Likewise with this side, uh, with the fire exit, so um, it's exactly the same setup, it's just the, the reverse image of it, right? Uh, and then the fire exit comes out here, this is then going to meet up with a plaza, a smaller plaza area that I'm going to design in this area to make it all sort of like come together. And then I just need to find a way of fencing off the, the area of the park and stuff. So inside the fire exits I've now put, uh, <laughs> as it stutters, uh, <laughs> it's what happens when you look at a building that's currently got 65,000 pieces. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all, none of it is able to be used. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I've just put the railings and stuff in uh, inside here. And then uh, in the actual atrium area itself, this is what I've uh, this is what I've done. So look at this. You've not seen this before, but this is what I wanted to have for this atrium area. Uh, this like whole split level open down the middle. It needs touching up and it needs some fine details and stuff. But I'm largely happy with how this has turned out. The chandelier is coming down. I think I need to bring the chandeliers down even further. In my uh, original, whoops, wrong camera. In my original design. The ceiling was open, but when you have a look at the roof strategy and the pitch of, uh, the pitch changes that we've got here, we've got no way of marrying these together cleanly. Uh, sadly, this is where we do need the Sims. Uh, so I've actually ended up just saying, "Sod it! I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna end up doing the plaster on the top here, and it's not gonna be open." I don't like it, but. I'm not fighting with the game to make it work, so it is it is what it is. But the the atrium itself is exactly as I wanted it to be, so. I'm happy with that. Uh, I'm happy with that as it stands. So yeah, just touching up along the outside here, just put some like uh, change, slight changes to the windows, brought all of these up so that they now are flush with the roof um, and likewise with the touching up along the front here. So I now need to put all the glass on the front here uh, and I need to start putting the windows in. So in terms of the grounds, what I'm doing here is I'm bringing, I've decided not to make any of this usable um, because the terrain and stuff that I've used for the pool and the area around it is just too dodgy to work with to have actual paths and stuff. It does not like it. So I've just decided to make none of it usable. So I've just got some steps that come down into the uh, into the patio area here. There'll be gates and stuff to, to fence off here. So this would be like emergency access to the park uh, from the main road. And then this is going to be the grounds and the gardens. Uh, whether I put a path around this way, I'm still undecided. That might actually end up being next episode because there's quite a lot of stuff that I need to work out. But this is going to be the, the gardens. And then I've decided I'm going to have two car parks. So you've got the main car park here. 
And then you've got the uh, overflow car park up here, or maybe staff car park. Now, there is a road that comes this way, and that's because we need to eventually connect up all of our maintenance areas and service areas, which are going to be in this area, right? So the road would continue around this way. You'd have the overflow car park here, the main car park here. So I'm also starting to think about next episode and when we do car parks. I don't know if I can say car park anymore, because <laughs> I'm saying it quite a lot. Uh, but ultimately, the main roads are going to come through this way past the uh past the hotel car park and then it's going to go into the main car park uh, <laughs> and <laughs> the strategy <laughs> take a drink by the way if you're playing a game uh, the strategy here is to have a mini roundabout and yes it does also cause chaos in legoland windsor but hey it works there so it's gonna work here as well and uh, then i've decided to put some steps leading up to the main entrance they are completely face on to the entrance so it just needs some uh, terrain changes and, and foliage and gardening and stuff to happen along here and then this area I've changed the pathing slightly so this is all going to make sense but I'm not doing this area over here so they are the main bits of the changes and I mean I'm loving how this is turning out so let's just go ahead and see how this turns out in real life and this, everybody, is what 141,693 pieces of completely unusable interior looks like. And this is an episode that we've built a bloody great big hotel that nobody other than the Dislike Vandals are going to care about. And I don't care. I love it. It's turned out so, so, so awesome. It's different to how I thought it was going to, but it is way way better and i'm not even sorry that this isn't even in a wing anymore like my original plans were all out the window i'm okay with this just being one solid building because it looks like this <laughs> i mean yes 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 and especially from the car park like just look at how good that looks i don't know if you guys are going to get as excited about this as i am like i really don't care i've just spent two weeks building this and i'm gonna love it <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, this is the main entrance. This is what the hotel looks like from the front. You can see that I've finished everything off. Um, I do keep finding tiny little tweaks, so I just need to stop, right? I just need to know when good is good enough. But yeah, this is what it looks like. You've got all of the rooms and stuff just facing you. Ugh, yes, like... Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So we're going to walk into the, uh, into the reception. There we go, walk into the reception, and then we've just got, we just greeted with this nice seating area, and then you come around here, and here is the reception. Yes. I haven't bothered to put staff and stuff in here, by the way, because I kind of wanted, it's not usable, <laughs> what's the point? <laughs> So then we turn around this way and we've got our bar. So the bar is now sorted. Uh, we've got the lifts on the left hand side. We've got all the seating areas and stuff in here. So here we go. We're just going to walk through here. I've done lots and lots of touching up in here. So it's a proper seating area. Um, it's very similar to the Splash Landings Hotel at Orton Towers and how that is set up. But as you can see, we are now all kitted out with a proper full on bar space. Yes. Do you want a drink? Uh, love it. And then we're going to come over this way. We can look over the balcony and out the window and you can see the park in the background. And yes, like how cool is this? And then we're going to come back around this way. And if we want to go into uh, the shop, then we can. So we just walk along the balcony and then there's the shop inside here. There you go. So I've just touched it up in there. Uh, it's all looking, it's all looking good. And then we're going to come through this way into the arcade. And again, all I've done in here is I've just kitted it out with some random stuff. I didn't really want to do much else in here. The Alton Towers hotel ones are pretty, like, pretty simple. It's pretty basic. So I've decided to keep it as basic as that. So then when we come down this way, I'm actually just going to go around here, right? Because I'm not in Tejid Cam. I was just doing a Tejid Cam because it's such a small space to look around. Uh, but this is the restaurant area. And yeah, I love this too, right? It's just worked out so well. <gasps> yes. And it's like the balcony area just frames it off so perfectly. Like, it's just... Splash Landings, Landings Hotel doesn't do this. This is almost like a mix of... Gardalands Hotel and Splash Landings, and I'm, I'm all right with it. <laughs> We've got the uh, the restaurant area here. So all I've done is I've just tidied up the flooring, tidied up the tables, put some plants and stuff around just to make it look good. Uh, yeah, and then you've got the lifts over here. I didn't show this to you last time, by the way. So the lifts, the lifts do come down to the uh, ground floor. 
and then you can come into the restaurant from this way and then the stairs obviously come down into this area and then down into uh down into the main uh, the main area right so we know that we've got the kitchen through there i haven't actually done anything else to it the game is as you can see it's starting to struggle and i need to save some piece count for, for the finale coaster so I kind of need to just choose <laughs> choose what I'm getting out and choose it carefully. But ultimately, we do have a fire exit down in this area. Uh, and all I've done, let me just change the camera. All I've done here is I've just done exactly what Splash Landings has done. And I've put fire exits over the top here and then hidden it with foliage. Uh, foliage, but these are the fire exits for uh, for the main area, right? So there we go. And then we can come across this way. And we are going to go into the conference center. So the uh, the floors and stuff on here are slightly different. I've put some tiles and stuff down. And the, this mosaic, this marble mosaic, I just thought it needed uh, it needed something to break up the space. And then inside here, as we come through the door, this is like a meet and greet space. This wouldn't have anything more than this. It wouldn't have a bar. It wouldn't have food units or anything like that. Because you would wheel all of those, all of those in when you do have a conference. So this is intentionally left blank, and it's very similar to the QE2 in London. Uh, that's all the same. It's all it's a very sparse area, but it's that's done by design. It's to keep it as like modern and fresh and clean as you can, so that people can come in and do their own decoration. They can do their own stuff. They've got a blank canvas to work with, so that's why you do that. And then inside here, I've set this room up for an actual conference. Um, so it's just got loads of chairs and stuff out, but you can have loads of different styles and, you know, you can have seminar style where you have tables and all sorts. We can accommodate all of that here. But ultimately what I wanted to do is just put some lights and moving lights and some staging and stuff uh, in here. So uh, I'm not going to show you the pool and stuff next uh, yet because I need to show you something else before I can show you that. Uh, so this is the second uh, this is the second conference room i have left this one empty so we've only got the one conference going on at the moment but it's ultimately set up in the same way it's got all of your uh, bits and pieces that you would find for a conference so then when we come outside here this is what we now have from the outside guys look at this on the lake oh, this looks amazing <laughs> Like, it just looks amazing. I'm so chuffed. I, I wasn't sold on this whole Egyptian-looking um, plinth and whatever. I don't know what it's called, but this Egyptian-looking thing. But, I yeah, now that it's all together, I really do like it. But that's not what we're here to do. We're talking about this area. So I've kitted all of this out with uh, patio and stuff. It's now all happy in this area. And then what I've done is exactly the same as the entrance of the park. I've now just put... Uh, picnic benches, benches and stuff in here, right? So you can come out and you can have drinks and uh, and whatever. And then because of overflow and because of the park being busy, I have also just put some cafe tables over in the distance uh, just there. So it's almost like it's an overflow. People would move these around and stuff anyway. And then what I've done here, I've put this carousel in. So yes, the park is well connected to the hotel, right? So you've got the uh, path and stuff that comes down here this carousel wouldn't be open as an actual ride it would be something they would use if they had a conference or it would be something that would be open at night i kind of figured that this whole area around here would probably and then the pathway that might come this way which i started to do by the way uh this whole area would probably be open after the park so they would allow like extra rides on some of the coasters and some of the rides and stuff would be open and they would open that carousel and they would and uh, they would have that uh, have that there. So it's an idea that I had from one of the conferences I attended. They actually brought a carousel in. I was like, oh, what a, what a good idea. Uh, and then I've just put in here just a, a playground area. Again, it's open. The park, if you're in the park, you could probably come through and, and just use the playground area if, if you wanted to. Uh, this isn't on the piss, by the way. <laughs> this is it's designed that way it's supposed to it's supposed to like rotate and stuff um but yeah so i've just put a, a park area in here just to just to finish it uh finish it off and then outside this way all i've done here is i've just started to do the road and i've done the car park and i've just put flowers and stuff down and then just done final touches up and stuff just to bring it all bring it all together and then this is the roundabout area where you've got the drop-off area this way and then you can go up through this way into the staff car park i'm going to leave that top area until next week i'm kind of not ready to, to finish that yet likewise with all of this along here it's still a bit janky and a bit jagged i don't really know what my strategy is with this car park whether i'm going to level it or whether i'm going to bring the the road down and have it lower like it is currently so i need to play that out later but i have put this little plaza 
area in here so now the hotel is very well connected to the actual front entrance of the park there's the fire exit from this side and then of course you've got the the path coming in from what will be the eventually the car parks and my vision was that there were going to be stairs in here that's why the curbing and stuff is is missing so as i said that's next week's problem need to deal with that uh need to deal with that next week so uh lots of <clears throat> excuse me other bits like i put fences and uh lots of flowers and trees and, and whatever in this area and lined off stuff with rocks and then because this is a sheer drop down here into the into the lower level i have just put some fences and stuff up in here but why i'm so excited is for what i'm about to show you because it's perfect and i haven't forgotten that i need to show you the pool but <sighs> look at it at night oh my god you're not going to get as excited as I am, but I don't care. So do you remember back in the Hill episode, right at the back when I said, oh, this probably would have been updated recently when there was something that was uh, added in. This was the something that was added in that meant it was updated at the back as well. So it's all of the neon and stuff that's on the, uh, on the top of the roofs and, and whatever. I didn't want to overdo this. I just wanted to have the, the Chatro colours just accenting all of the stuff along the roof right and then also the um the different lines that you've got going on here and then of course you've got the world of you lodge sign at the top here with welcome down the bottom here so it works uh, this is the mezzanine areas so this is just the middle floor right um but yeah ha <laughs> love it because then you can look down or oh. Uh, don't look down if you feel if you're like scared of heights <laughs> but we're gonna go across this way because i can show you no wait we need to go and see the other thing oh camera 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 i don't know how best to do this now because i think i'm stuck uh there we go this is so gonna go wrong when we when we change the camera back because i'm stressing the camera out but and we're gonna go into the pool area so changing rooms i've not done anything with and we're going to come in this way. <sighs> Look at this. Oh my god. How awesome does this look? It's an underground freaking swimming pool. Yes. Guys, just yes. Like, look at it. It's just, it's modern, it's clean, it's fresh. It's what I wanted this space to be. Originally, I did have plans for an infinity pool. Um, but I actually dig this instead because it's completely underground and it's hidden by the parking spaces on the roof and stuff. So, yes. See? Right. Let's just come back outside of the hotel uh, one more time so I can show you what the rooms look like. But we need to be in daytime for this one. There we go. So, let's just choose the top. Let's just choose a random one. There we go. So, we've already seen inside here, right? Uh, we already know what these what these look like inside here, but I just wanted to show you what the views and stuff were like from the from the rooms. So this is the car park facing side. So this is the um, the view that you get with the privacy screens and stuff. Uh, and then if we come this way, you watch. You remember in the earlier update when this went horribly wrong? I've not rehearsed this. I don't know what we're about to see. <laughs> There you go. That's way better than the uh, the original one, right? <laughs> we'll take that view. <laughs> so anyway, that's the uh, that's the view of the lake, and then you just get a view for the whole park and the nature that surrounds it from there, guys. This is just ah, oh, it's everything I wanted the hotel to be. And this is the park as it sits from the top now. And we're nearing the end. We've only got two episodes left. Next week, we're going to be dealing with all of the maintenance areas, the car park and the loose ends. Uh, and then we'll deal with the finale coaster. So, guys, thank you for getting to the end of this episode. I really do appreciate it. If you have liked it, please say in the comments below, better than Raygate's Hotel. Yes. <laughs> so, please look after yourselves. Until we speak again, I'll see you soon. Have a good week. Bye-bye, guys.